Hey guys, BJ Kissel with SB Nation and Arrowhead Prog. A quick recap of the Kansas City Chiefs 20 to 13 loss to the Indianapolis Colts. I think it's the same story, different day. It seems like I've done about seven of these videos saying the same thing. Uh, Jamal Charles is pretty good. He proved it again today, picking up 226 yards on just 22 carries, good for 10.3 yards per carry average and obviously the electrifying 86-yard touchdown run, which ties him for the NFL record for three rushing touchdowns of at least 80 yards in a season. I think if it wasn't for the uh, questionably human Adrian Peterson uh, up in Minnesota and obviously what Peyton Manning's done over in Denver, I think Jamal Charles would be a shoe-in for comeback player of the year. Um, I still think he should be mentioned in the conversation just as a respect to what he's been able to accomplish this season. But I think that, you know, what did we learn about the Chiefs today? Not a whole lot else other than the fact that if you put, and we've said it before, if you put a decent quarterback on this team, I think the Chiefs win this game. They had, they got picked up 507 yards of total offense and held the Colts to just 288 yards of total offense. Held Andrew Luck, the rookie phenom quarterback, to just 17 of 35 for 205 yards. But it was the one touchdown with just over four minutes left in the game to Reggie Wayne that gave the Colts the 20 to 13 lead and eventually won the game for them. But you put a halfway decent quarterback on the Chiefs right now, and I think that that game is a completely different story. But that's something that we talked about all season, not something that's a huge surprise. Um, you know, another thing, Peyton Hillis probably had his best game as a Kansas City Chiefs, picking up 101 yards on just 15 carries. Um, obviously, the Chiefs averaged 8 yards per carry as a whole. It wasn't just Jamal Charles, so you have to give some credit to the offensive line. But, you know, we saw a couple of receivers step up. John Baldwin picked up two catches. Uh, I think it was just two catches, but uh, Devin Wiley made some plays for the Chiefs wide receivers. That uh, was, It was nice to see. I think this game appeased all Chiefs fans because there are the Chiefs fans out there that were hoping we wouldn't win to secure the number one pick, Daniel <laughs> Smith. But I think that for the Chiefs fans, just want to see a competitive game like myself. The Chiefs were in this game. Um, I'm disappointed they didn't win the game, but it's nice to see them not roll over, especially the defense. Tice, uh, Tom Ali picked up his ninth sack of the year next week against the Denver Broncos. If, Tice, or if Tom Ali picks up one more sack, it'll give him 10 for the season. And it'll be the first time since 1994 that the Chiefs have two guys with at least 10 sacks on the season. Back then it was Derek Thomas and Neil Smith. Justin Houston's already got over 10 sacks right now. And Tom Ball with nine. So that's something to look forward to next week against the Denver Broncos. It's sad that most people thought that that last game at, in Denver was going to mean something. The Chiefs would be playing some, for something. It's just sad that they're playing for the number one overall pick. So obviously this point in season, I'd assume and pray that there are changes coming and I think there will be so Chiefs fans are almost out of your misery the offseason is something to look forward to for Arrowhead Pride and SB Nation I'm BJ Kissel